This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This is Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Vacation and the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. I'm here for Peter. What? Let me tackle it or do I need something else? I don't know. <laughs> well, you're in luck, little hellfire, because you, we're starting a whole new month of Peter. Welcome back to the Ultimate Spider Cast. I am Phil. Joining me as always, that enthusiastic young lady is. Hey y'all, it's Little Hellfire. And guess what? It's another red, white, and blue theme. Get it? That's right, because it's July, so just like Comic Capers, we're gonna be doing Captain America stories. No, I don't. You said you thought this one was kind of cute. So, but, but, so yes, this time we're covering Marvel Team Up 128, of course, Spider Man and Captain America from April 19th. April 1983. I wasn't born yet. It's fine. So, huh, so I was five. <laughs> yes. Hey, look, there's friends of the show. Oh yes, yes, that's right. Because it, yes, it is written by uh, the great JD uh, DeMatteis. This is Jam DeMatteis, and you are listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. This is making me hungry. Thanks, Phil. Hungry. Got the cakes and the pies in the back. Oh. We got uh, five dollar shots, but not those kind of shots. Because of the street. <laughs> five the- shots for twenty five cents. I was like, I wish. Well. <laughs> yes, yeah, the street fair. Uh, yeah. Where's the funnel cake, dude? Exactly. So yes, sweet temptation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Bucky's somewhere jealous. He's somewhere jealous. But yes, we'll know this, this issue by its photorealistic cover. <laughs> for what was considered photorealistic. Well, for, for 1983. <laughs> this looks like bad Photoshop. But <laughs> Again, ni- it. 1983. Uh, yeah, there's even a special in the back about them putting the cover together and stuff. Which Marvel did a few of these. I don't know if it was the same month or... So I remember a couple of these. But yes, Sweet Temptation. Mm, it seemed like a good idea to Peter Parker to time spend the evening with friends at a bustling New York City street festival. Lose yourself and your troubles. Uh, this is like that church bazaar we did last month. <laughs> I'm sensing a common theme. He's a clown. Get it? Oh. I love Pete, but he's an idiot sometimes. For the most part. <laughs> but yes, he's with his friends, uh, Roger and Mia. Uh, I, I don't know who people are. It's fine. <laughs> again, every 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 couple years, they try to like bring in like you know more different supporting characters, and like none of them really last. You know, unless you were created by Stan Lee, it's like you were a lot of them don't, exactly. don't stick around. It's like he is the last person that needs a supporting character outside of Ant Man and Mary Jane. You know what I mean? Exactly. Even when it's like, you know, one of the eyes ones, just like, just can you just get amnesia already and go pretend to die somewhere, please? <laughs> uh, but yeah, Mia's like, what's wrong, Peter? And of course, he's thinking about how the black cat's in the hospital and she's been injured. I'm a sad emo boy. <laughs> His girlfriend's in the hospital. She was injured by that madman. She had it coming. I'm just saying. Oh. Oh. She was injured. At me, I don't care. Felicia's <laughs> a bad person. I was going to say, Charlie Esser might agree because it was at the hands of Otto Octavius. <laughs> in Spectacular Spider-Man 76. Thank you, DeFelka. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! I guess uh, what is it? Uh, Spider-Man Crawl Space. They're doing a. I guess they're doing some live thing tonight. I think they said you can watch it on YouTube. It's uh, Defelco, our friend Ron, friends, and who's the third one? They but there's like they have like three creators on. Oh God! What are three old white guys gonna get up to? <laughs> hey, I resemble that remark. <laughs> You're not that old. I know. <laughs> and you are Gen X. I double checked. Oh, thank you. 
<sighs> I played the good video games. Finish him! Dang straight. <laughs> Words Lilith lives by. Anyway. Uh, uh, oh, and then Peter uh, is all droopy dog. Then he's like, oh, hey, who's that in the crowd? Luckily, I always have my camera just in case I need to be the king of the selfies. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, oh, hey, there's Steve Rogers and his girlfriend, Bernie. You mean Captain America? Why don't th- Who else, silly? Well, I don't think he knows he's Captain America. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, and of course, Steve's all down in thumbs because he's like, does he dare love after what happened to Sharon Carter? Uh, I'll give, just come back in time, it'll be all right. Give, yeah, I was going to say, give, no, give it about 13 years. She'll be back. <laughs> Mark Wade will bring her back, don't worry. And honestly, we stand, not going to lie. I want Diamond back, back. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Yeah. That's All like right. his cat woman. Come on. <laughs> I like a good cat woman. Oh my God. She's like a criminal, ex-criminal. Come on. Wait a minute. Do you have a black cat, <gasps> cat woman? I'm sensing a theme here. <laughs> Do I like bad girls? Um, uh, oh boy, these two are having a conversation, aren't they? Uh, well, the word is love. Oh, jeez. Who? Oh, oh, I can relate to this. It sends a, a discomfort, a, a sh- discomforting shiver up his spine. I can relate. <laughs> that ring comes out, man. That guy drops to his knees. I was like, ooh. <laughs> and honestly, I stand in this moment. I didn't think we could. Re- I could relate to him. So that's why I said this issue was cute. I feel you, boy. I feel you. No, I told you. See. Oh, he's got a guilty floating head, too. So that's always nice. <laughs> Caring for another human being that isn't myself. <laughs> well, I will see. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, because you don't have fur, I don't care about he, you. He, he supposedly sees her burned to death on video, and then, like even when she comes back in the nineties, it's like she even says to him, "Oh, you saw it on video." Oh, yeah, that's that. You know, pot. You know, so- rock solid evidence. <laughs> you just wanted to see other people. It's fine, Stevie. It's fine. <laughs> We were on a break. It's fine. Did you just call Steve Rogers Ross? Hey, man. We were on a... Soy boy activity fits... (gasps) We were on a break. Oh, we also have a Bernie. So we can feel the burn in this one. Oh! Burn. Can I get an F in the comments on YouTube? (laughs) Where my burn bros at? Where my Bernie bros at? What the F? But yes, Peter's like, Steve, Steve Rogers. And then we get a Saved by the Bell that's like six years too early reference. Yes. <laughs> Who's the expert? He's like, Saved by the Bell. And yeah, <laughs> Steve, that's Peter Parker. I met him when I was doing illustrations for the Daily Bugle. Right in your little comic strip, having a little fun, doing some self-life reflecting, yeah? <laughs> what brings you out here? Peter on a photo assignment? Nah, I was trying to shake off some mental cobwebs. Get it? Uh I see you got your sketchbook working on something. Now nah, I'm just doodling for my own amusement. They're at a fair amusement. I'm gonna future Lilith's gonna be so drunk, man. I know. <laughs> Say, let me introduce you to Bernadette. Bernadette, great name. <laughs> Big Bang Theory. She deserves better. Big Bang. She got stuck with Howard. Oh yes, that's true. Bazinga. <laughs> uh, and then 30 Ro- minutes of gaming and gorging later. What are we doing? A Twitch stream? <laughs> Little Hellfire's life? What? Basically. <laughs> Watch this, Mia. I'm gonna- yeah, Roger's trying to win Mia a prize. Guess somebody didn't have their buckwheat pancakes today. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve's like, what's the matter, Peter? You look startled. Because his spider sense is going off. That's when a rat jumps on Roger. A slimy, disgusting rat, you say? <laughs> you dirty rat. And more to come! <laughs> yeah, no, this is a nightmare, to be honest. Yeah, the place just starts crawling with rats. You dirty like, rat. I'm okay with rats that I've raised, but like random wild rats? Uh-uh. Especially New York rats? Uh-uh. Sewer rats, yeah. Unless he's got four turtles he's taking a pizza home to. I don't care about you, buddy. <laughs> 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 so, yes. But then their lord and master comes out, Vermin the Man Rat. And I'm like, doesn't DC have a very similar character? Am I am I tripping? Who? I'm trying. I'm trying to 
think this feels like it's like a one-off character, but I've, I've seen a DC character like this before. I don't know unless unless D. Mateus re- created him too. I don't know. Hmm, we'll have to look into that. I'll get back to you, but I'm just like, ooh. But, mm, why did it have to be rats? <laughs> yes, but yeah. So vermin shows up. Let us forage for food and feast. Let us feast. Here's <laughs> Lilith. And of course, Steve recognizes Vermin uh, from when he fought him at Ca- Zemo's castle in Captain America 278. Thank you, Tommy. I believe also written by Demetrius. So. Get it? Get your shekels in, bro. I ain't even mad. Get your shekels in. Uh, yes, because I believe he created the Vermin character. Yes. Uh, how to get back to New York so fast? Oh, oh, I feel, I feel like we got a shout out because they said lunatic, so I'm gonna take it. Yes. <laughs> That lunatic is nothing if not resourceful. Yes. This that describes us perfectly, to be honest. <laughs> more brutal, more uncontrollably savage than ever. Yeah, it's us. Yeah. Charlie's commentary. I agree. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, Vermin's just wrecking stuff and eating whatever he can. And Steve's like, God, uh, Parker's doing his job. Now, <laughs> King of the Selfies is doing his job. So, here, let me go change. <laughs> So, you ever been called out by Captain America? <laughs> everyone calls him out, I know. Burn. So yeah, so then Peter throws his keys to Roger and me and says, Here, go go back to my apartment, you'll be safe. And then Are you crazy? He's trying to get paid, girl. Don't you know that's what he gets paid for? Danger. That's right. And then Steve's ready to go change too, but at least Bernie knows. Steven calls himself out. No, just greedy. Jameson will pay me a fortune. <laughs> yes. He's self-aware at least. He's self-aware. Now, if I could just find a place to change. Too bad you can't just vibrate one out of your ring, huh? Whoa. <laughs> Crazy. So, yeah, Steve tells Bernie. Well, Bernie at least knows who he is. So, he's just like. And he, so he goes running off and change. She's like, I'll be waiting. Can't you let the police handle it for once? And he's like, look. Do you a- even know who you're dating, Bernie? I, well, I mean, look at that panel. The cops are getting their butts handed to them. Exactly. Come on, Bernie. This is why he's having second thoughts. Oh, he's, he's not, not supportive. Ha- so, yes, Steve runs into the bingo hall, runs into the men's room, into a stall. And I guess Peter had the same idea because they both come out of this adjoining stalls. Oh, I, I just wanted it to be like a South Park thing. Like, hey, who's dropping bombs in there? Can I get a courtesy flush? <laughs> All right, so here, if it was written today, that's what it would say. <laughs> that's true. But here's my question. Where did he pull that shield from? You don't want to know. <laughs> There's no prison wall He's like a that big. super soldier. It's super everything. Super reflexes for everything. I'm just saying. <laughs> at least at least one line, you know, because I, th- I think USC agent has used pin particles before to, like, you know, make it like a belt buckle. <laughs> well, he is coming out of the bathroom saw. That's all that I'm saying. It's implied. It's implicitly implied. <laughs> I know. But, you know, something. Pim particles. Something. I can sprinkle some pim particles. Some kind of particles, all right. Bigger. Poop particles. Whoa! <laughs> hey, man. They, they set up the bathroom humor. Not me. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Look at the guy in the panel. He's like, only, only in New York. Yup. Uh, <laughs> so true. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah. Captain America ran in Spider Man last issue on a rooftop. Now it's a men's room. Um, I'm just saying they're they're sending out like eighties homo vibes. I'm just saying. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. Some subtext there if you want to look into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can never go wrong with the Austin's power drop. Just, just like pro tip if you're a podcaster, just gonna put that out there for you. Exactly. Oh my god, he's getting bit by rats. This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Captain America and Spider Man come running up while Vermin's finishing off what some apples and a loaf of bread. <laughs> Somebody packed him a school lunch. <laughs> This is no game, Captain. This is survival. I mean, honestly. Yeah. He just wants to eat. If y'all would have just left them alone in peace. Yeah, well, the rats didn't have to bite people. But yeah, in the childhood, the city streets were my home. Now, transformed as I have been by the hated Baron Zemo. Captain America 270. Zemo! 
See now. I shall make them my kingdom. So yeah, no, sent, everybody can't be this cool. He sends dogs after Captain America. Let loose the hounds of hell, if you will. But idiots, when I was normal, I was a starving, pitiful wreck. Now, alas, my friend, my friends, and I have power. Um, that's a pretty low bar, buddy. You want to have a talk? You need a therapist? Should we get you a therapist? Spider Man calls a mouseketeer. Um, ironic now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bet you won't see vermin nowadays, will you, kids? Unappreciated depiction of rodents? I don't think so. So yeah, so yeah, he sends rats after Spider-Man again. Getting bit. So Cap grabs... Just find some cheese and throw it. Well, Cap runs fine. Cap runs for like a garden hose and sprays them off. So He's out here sipping tea. So Captain America helps Spider-Man, so then Spider-Man throws a web net over the dogs, attacking Cap. Uh, why do we always have to pretend like that webbing is, <laughs> is a catch-all, literally? <laughs> catch-all? Because <laughs> it is. Uh, but I guess the rats talk Berman into retreating. Hmm. His furry friends had to talk some sense into him. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Theme of this issue. I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm seeing some motifs, definitely. So, yeah, so like, oh, he escaped in the confusion. And Spider Man's like, what's up with this slimy guy? Berman is like human bacteria spawned in the gutters and back alleys of the city. If there's any, what is this, Gotham? If there was any decency, any dignity in his soul, it was bled out of him years ago after he moved to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Florida. Had to get it in there. We, uh, we know, trust me, we're well aware. Burn. We see Burn. the Florida man memes, and we just want to entertain this and entertain the world, okay? Mm-hmm. We're doing our part. But then I guess I guess she's been tracking Vermin, Agent of Shield, Gil Runsitter. Ooh, get out of here, Gil! <laughs> you you know spe- Maria. Get out of here. Do you want to speak with the manager, Gail? <laughs> but no, I guess she's not on the job. She, oh, she's just a civilian tonight. I'm trying to get something in. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. off, off duty booty is all I'm saying. She probably spiked that drink she gave him. So yes, yeah, so, yeah, Spider-Man takes off, and uh, yeah, Captain America takes off with Gail. Look at this awful apartment. Like <laughs> I cannot with this awful apartment. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's pretty big, but it's just the furniture. Yeah, I mean, like this is classic college kid furniture. What's up with that? Look at the. What's that coffee table made out of marshmallow? No, it's one of those stupid, like, wire things that they wrap them around, you know? Oh, okay. Like, I honestly have never seen that before. Like, only in comic books or, like, cartoons. Like, I've never seen an actual person do that. But, okay. but, but yeah, she messed up in Captain America 278, so she wants to make it up to Steve. Hmm, however, could you make something up to Steve? <laughs> She just wants to polish that shield. <laughs> oh, Cap, you're one of a kind. You're special. When they made you, they threw away the mold. Well, no, the fun was still there. We just don't use it because we've made better. <laughs> oh, uh, there's more than just kind words, Cap. Since the day I first we first met, I haven't stopped thinking about you. There were so many times I wanted to call you, talk to you. Talk. How civil. <laughs> He's like, talk about what? She just says, us. Someone that just don't get it, and it's fine. <laughs> I know. He, she goes to kiss him. He's like, no. She's like, he's like, well, she's like, what's wrong? It's not wrong. I'm unattracted to you. Uh, Ooh, ouch! That is way worse than the friend zone. I'm just what? saying. He says, it's not that I'm not attracted to you. I am, but I've been through this before with Sharon, and then I found... That's worse than the friend zone! Wants to hear that. And he found someone, you know, she loves me, not Captain America, you know, not the suit me. Oh, this is the Felicia in her talking. It's fine. I'd be an utter fool to throw that all away for a moment's pleasure. <laughs> oh. Cut to the next morning and she's leaving in his t shirt. It's fine. <laughs> but you wouldn't be throwing anything away, Cap. No one would ever know. Jeez. Groupie alert! Groupie alert! 
I know, Gail, and that's one person too many. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and meanwhile, Perfect. meanwhile, Peter gets home. Uh, Her crushed dreams and whatnot. He's thinking, oh, at least my powers help me heal quick. But although if I did go to the hospital, the I'd be there in the black cat. Pete, what are we doing here, bro? He's <laughs> thinking about taking a shower and going out, but then, oh, Mia's still there. <laughs> Remember, you gave us the keys. And that's why you don't give people keys. Your keys to your apartment. Exactly. Where's Roger? He was feeling a little queasy, you know, from the rats, so he went home. Why did you stay? Uh-oh. Actually, it was Roger. Uh-oh. What? Wait, why did you stay? Why did you stay? It was, exactly. It was Roger's idea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that button is getting a work I know. Day. He just uh, he just he just asked that we take the pictures. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, she gets out the uh what the rubbing alcohol or whatever, starts cleaning up his wounds. And he's thinking, what a living doll. <laughs> She's pretty, intelligent, she's warm. What, so any warm body will do, Pete? <laughs> You're broke college kid. Quick way to get up your fun. All I'm saying. Nobody. Lo- I can't relate, but somebody could. I was gonna say, you know, many losers Lil slept with. <laughs> not all. <sighs> not all her exes. Cause I know some listen, but no, not all her. Exes. Just the one. Everybody else is fair game. <laughs> that other guy. I'd give anything for a woman like her, someone I could relax with. Forget about Spider-Man and supervillains and saving the world. Half of them would want you to do that. And the other time, you're just like, no, power and responsibility. Guilty floating heads and whatnot. My that uncle. Person, you know. My uncle. It all comes back. It's fine. Because it all comes back to Amazing Fantasy 15. What is it? As it should. <laughs> what is it, Peter? Why are you looking at me like that? As she touches his hand. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. <laughs> yes, Peter. Yes, Peter. <laughs> who was that little hell? I was going to say, who wrote this? I was going to say, who wrote this dialogue, little hellfire? <laughs> okay, apparently me, me and this room, <laughs> have something in common. It's, it's fine. <laughs> I'm here for Peter. <laughs> Uh, but then uh, a news report comes in over the radio that uh, vermin's been spotted. A rat-like beast. What a boop! What a blank block. No! Oh. <laughs> block. Oh, I'm sorry, a block. There we go. Vermin? <laughs> Look, Mia, I've forgotten all, these, <laughs> all the excitement. Uh, I need to get some sleep. <laughs> They push her out the door. Do you money for a cab? No. <laughs> Great. Oh, damn. <laughs> Great. At least he offered. I know. Like, here's a bus fare. Get out of here. <laughs> you know how much a taxi costs in New York today? I know. Just imagine. Oh, great. Then I gotta take a shower. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, pushes her out the door. Now, what was that all about? But Naz, next thing we know, he's popping out of that skylight. That bulletin was a blessing. I can't believe what I was about to do. Hey, D'Agostinos! Great hey. to see you again. Yep. Yeah. He's like, I almost portrayed Roger in the Black Cat. What What would me have done? Probably screamed and called the Vice Squad. <laughs> Lord, I never realized I could be so weak. <laughs> what What am I going to do next? Make a deal with the devil? You're only human, buddy. We just want you to be happy. But we know that you're going to be happy with Mary Jane, so it's fine. King, king, of, king of the selfies and, uh, Poor judgment. Well, yeah. I mean, he is friends with Steve Rogers, who is captain of Bad Life Decisions, right along with Tony Stark. So, what Steve Rogers? Steve Rogers was able to resist temptation. Sure. She bit. Sure. Hey, she threw it in his face and said, "No one will know." And he's like, "No, I don't know." Sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure he called her on the payphone after this fight, but whatever. <laughs> okay, Maroon Five. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh, they're knocking over all the spaghettios. That's sad. I love how Spider Man shows up in the scene and the cops are just like, Oh, I hate to say this, but I guess we could use your help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a little outclassed here, homie. Uh yeah. At least the cops are smart enough to realize that, and then Cap shows up also. Cap, I guess we listen to the same radio stations. 
Hey, I almost cheated. Uh, on, hey, hey, I almost cheated on my girlfriend just now. Hey, me too. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. So they they're walking into the dark uh, grocery store. Where will he strike? Like any good horror movie. <laughs> yes, as vermin comes flying over a shelf. Die, die, die. I don't know. He just looks like an overgrown sugar glider to me. Is it just me? Oh yeah, flying over that shelf. Yeah, definitely. Like even in the face, like he's not that scary. Like. I don't know. Depends on the artist. and cause He so, aches in places where he never knew he could ache. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, we, were, <laughs> we were simply stocking up on provisions for the winter. <laughs> Are they going to hibernate? Uh, I don't think that's how vermin work, but okay. I don't, know. <laughs> don't tell me you're going to kill me, right? No, i just kill you, Captain. Rip you from limb from bloody limb. <laughs> so yeah, he leaps over Cap and... <laughs> Like Spider Man, grab him. Don't tell me twice, Avenger. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Try to stop me, Spider Man, Spider. I dare you, Vermin shall leave you crushed and begging for death. <laughs> oh, honey, this is not called a uh, Vermin team up, so you know. And I mean, you know, pe- people who underestimate him. I mean, here it takes Sp- uh, Spider Man and Captain America to take down Vermin. Craven the Hunter does it by himself. You know that that's the thing about um, power scales. Mm-hmm. Just whatever the plot needs. And plus, you know, I don't think Craven's worried about killing any guy. <laughs> Not at all. No. So, like, I, I just need Frank Castle to give Craven a call. Like, maybe he'll mentor him or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and uh, everyone, it should, it should be up by the time this hits the podcast. Uh, look for my uh, feedback on. Uh, in today night a moon night podcast episode 152 where uh ray and company review what if 44 what if uh the punisher got the venom symbiote game over <laughs> game over and it's a it, it, you know it's it's the smallest twist of fate you basically frank castle just gets that church before eddie brock <laughs> that's how he gets it <laughs> uh, that would have made him competent at least bloodthirsty at least mm-hmm Hey, instead of trying why don't to, they do that as an actual book? <laughs> instead of trying to kill superheroes and stuff, yeah, just like kill drug dealers. Exactly. I mean, we will eat your meth brain. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Lilith Lil is calling in from the drug capital of the world. I forget. <laughs> yeah, legal and otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> the import, ca- the drug import capital of the world. <laughs> Uh, so yes, they're fighting. So there's, you know, vermin. There's something in your eyes and your voice. Something that reminds me of everything rotten, bow and stinking inside us. And what is well, it? What is this? What is this? Lilith in a breakup? What? I think I think me and this writer might be long lost cousins or something. I don't know. And tonight of all nights, I don't want to look at you a second longer than necessary. I almost got some. <laughs> Uh, see, so yeah, he whips Spider Man in some cans and then. Not the spaghetti! Uh oh! <laughs> so, yeah, Ver- <sighs> Vermin leaps a cap, cap trying to hit him with the shield. Just being around Vermin. You got him in the knee, that had to hurt. <clears throat> ra ra re, kick him in the knee. Ra ra raz, kick him in the. Other no! Knee. <laughs> did, wait, did he hit him? Cheerleader joke for the win! Did he hit him in the knee? I thought he missed with that shield and then Furman drops a shelf on Cap. He definitely drops the shelf, but it, I don't know. It looks like he hit him in the knee. <laughs> and even the rats are like, it's time to leave. He's like, no, I want Captain America's head and I'm gonna have it. Who is he, Venom? Trying to suck his brain? <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> Frank, subtext? <laughs> but, uh, yes, definite, definite subtext. Look at that. Look at him standing over him with his hand around his throat. I'm just saying. Yeah, I guess he's about to claw him, and then Spider-Man webs up the hand. Like, again, scumbo. A little sticky substance? A little flip flip. <laughs> Good lord. I ache in places I never knew I could ache. And we're back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're not laying a finger on Captain America. Just just like that Gale woman, you're not laying a finger on him. <laughs> uh, But then Furman asked the rats to attack. Spider-Man, but I guess they're smarter than him because they left. <laughs> You're like, peace out, homie. We'll meet you at home. Don't forget the SpaghettiOs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in five to ten. 
your friends have more brains than you do, Vermin. They know when the retreat is cap decks them. Mm. I love the side by side of them looking down at him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll kill you both. Kill you both. Kill you. Yeah, his walk away. Come on, Spider Man. Let's get the devil out of here. I don't want to look at him a second longer than I have to. Uh, so, uh, yeah, at the end, they're just talking on a rooftop. As far as I'm concerned, it's been a night to forget. Why? Because you saw something in vermin you also saw in yourself? That's nothing to be ashamed of, son. You said it yourself. All men have those monsters lurking inside. If I've learned anything in my years on this earth, it's that we've got to drag those monsters screaming into the light if we've if we're ever to be rid of them. Mm, so. I don't think that was the moral of the story, but you know, it's a team up. We can wrap it up. It's fine. Yeah, a lot <laughs> most of the, most of these team ups were like one and done's, yeah. So they shake. Yeah, good enough. Good. It's like Family Guy. Good enough. Wrap it up. Hit the music. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yeah, I shake hands. Cap's like, I got someone special waiting for me, and I swear I've never wanted to see her more than I do right now. Yeah, you got an aching in your bones, bro. I feel you. I hear you. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> and Spider Man's thinking, yeah, I know just what you mean, Winghead. I know just what you mean. So I guess he's going to see the black cat because we see her floating head over the city. Sure, sure. He's he's backtracking. I'm just saying. <laughs> but next, that not like we're gonna actually talk about this next. But Spider Man and the Vision. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, I never knew Vision was that popular. To be honest, I can't stand Vision. I say Red Tornado's way better. Fight me. I don't care. I mean, like back in the '80s and stuff. I think he was kind. Of, I mean, he had more emotion back then. You know, that's when he was married to Scarlet Witch and stuff. I think maybe it's just popularity. Which is what the show is going for, from what I understand, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's probably going to scream no more. (laughs) Bring us mutants or something. Something? (laughs) Something? (laughs) Come on. I I still say that I feel like Fantastic Four and X-Men should definitely be like the Black Panther thing. And I definitely think that Black Panther should be like the star of the next phase. It just makes sense. He's connected to so much more than anybody else that we've introduced. Yes. I mean, I'm just afraid that they're going to try to push like Captain Marvel to the front. And I just, I'm not here for that. <laughs> they, yeah. Use Black Panther to bring in the Fantastic Four and then use WandaVision to bring in the X-Men. I still say that I think, I feel like X-Men make more sense in Black Panther too. Like, maybe, like, yeah. it doesn't come out in the next, but, like, the, the third Black Panther movie, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, did you see that? I guess Ryan Reynolds had an idea. He wanted a uh, Deadpool, like, basically kills the fox first. <laughs> and everybody's like, yes, please do that. But I don't, I, I mean, they could. But I don't, I don't think that Disney's ready to be that tongue-in-cheek, like, kind of, they don't want to come across mean-spirited kind of thing, you know what I mean? It'd be funny. Because though. for what it's worth, let's not forget you know, X Men for Marvel really ushered in their superhero thing. Yeah, for Marvel as a brand. So you know what I mean. I, I just I don't know how that would look on the optics of things. Maybe, but I would be here for it if they're they're down for it. So. Just like pop in different versions of the same character. You get an Xavier. You get an Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Patrick Stewart greater than McAvoy. Fight me. Exactly. I don't care. Although Michael Fassbender like him more than me, so you know, I just there's the you know there's trade offs. Oh yeah, I wonder why you like Fassbender better. <laughs> <laughs> to bend bend faster, of course. <laughs> On that note, I will give this issue a solid B. Ooh, nice. I enjoyed the artwork. I like the team up. I like that, um, you know, they have girls throwing them at themselves and they're being true to their ladies that they're with. It's nice. Classic, classic, uh, comics, you know, these days. Who knows what they would have done? <laughs> oh, exactly. oh, oh, well, hell, it would have to be a Captain America issue. If that was Matt Murdock, he would have went for it. And next, next time we saw her, she would be dead. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's the Sam Winchester of comics. I'm sorry. I mean, does uh, I mean does he have a secret deal with Bullseye? Yeah, I'm done with her. Go ahead. It feels like it. Oh, I still gotta write that blog <laughs> about you know who. Oh, oh yeah. All Tread right. Tread carefully, my friend. Uh, I know, I know. Watch it; it'll never get done anyway. But uh. <laughs> 
Who am I, Charlie Ezra? <laughs> All right, so yes, let me pull up the schedule for the next couple weeks. Because again, yes, it's Captain America month. Get it? <laughs> Sound like Lil- <laughs> Lilith. Get it? Uh, open up. That's it. That's oh, it. I knew. I knew. How do you get that pervert? <laughs> I'm sorry, we haven't been doing Wade's World, so it's, it's got to come out somewhere, guys. I apologize. <laughs> so, yes, next week we'll be covering Amazing Spider-Man Annual 37. Well, it's a more current Ooh. issue. It's like a flashback to like when Spider-Man, when a Captain America and Spider-Man's first team-ups. And then the week after that, Avenging Spider-Man number five. Nice. And then, of course, we round out the uh, month with uh, our Scarlet Spider episode from uh, sausage fest that's right spider-man unlimited number eight it's fine having a sausage fest that's right ray and Macona, yes and of course august is gonna be our morbius month <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> like that movie's ever coming out i know well mm. well people they please, tried it it's fine the kids can come here for morbius <laughs> is jared leto just, exactly is jared leto just cursed now <laughs> Bring me the gypsy who cursed. Yeah, honestly, look, listen, I love Jared Leto as an actor, just not as Joker. I love him as a singer as well. I think he's very talented. Yeah. And I think Morbius is actually more of his actor skill set. He's a very broody guy and very um in his head as a person. So like, I just feel like that was like a better fit. But I, I think that Joker does have that pull for actors. Joker is like, you know, that 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 character that a lot of people want. I get it, but it's not for everybody. Yeah, but then the minute you see that, it's got so much pressure, you know, and connotations and things and expectations that you just you'll never be good enough. But the minute the the minute you see the grill and the tattoos, aren't you like, yeah, I'm out? (laughs) Well, and that that was a stylistic choice that you know was thrust upon that character. Yeah, and I I do I do like that. Well, the 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 grill thing kind of threw me, and the tattoo on his hand with the mouth thing that kind of threw me. But I did like the modern day reinterpretation. Of that that purple coal in the in the color code and how they like kind of use those pieces, I liked it. I get, I got what they were going for, but it came off too too edge lord. They didn't have yes. somebody to like go, oh, hey, pull this back a bit. This is a little too over the top. Yes. If they had pulled it back just a bit, I think it would wouldn't have had as much criticism as it got. Nailed it. So on that note, we're gonna go. <laughs> yes, no feedback from Ray from Ray this time because he kind of sent me like one feedback for like this week, next week, and the week after. So uh, yeah, after we do that event, we, we gotta we gotta we gotta hold back. <laughs> That's what our character said this week. But so yeah, so I'll play Ray's feedback for the month uh, when we do that Avenging Spider Man <laughs> for the month. <laughs> On that note. Uh, on that note. So, yeah, send your thoughts on those upcoming issues. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com. Call the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember to follow Ultimate Spider Cast on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, follow all of our stuff, all in one convenient place. That's Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support our sponsors, Tweaked Audio, Hunt a Killer, pretend it's vermin, Hunt a Killer, and pick up Pod Life the Book, either in digital or paperback, Volume 1, because Volume 2 is coming. And when you go on Amazon, because you know that's where you do all your shopping now, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes and help support this show, the network, and of course, that power-hungry madman, Rob Master Doom Southgate. Go back and look at my history, and you will find out I am right so much more often than I'm wrong. Mark my words. Mm, speaking of mad people, Lil Hellfire. <laughs> if you nerds want to nerd rage out with me on the interwebs, you can find me on Twitter at Lil Hellfire or on Instagram at Lil Hellfire eighty six or at Lil Hellfire sixty nine. Because I love to be a meme. Hey oh, Hulk's always hard. <laughs> pickle, pickle. <laughs> Deceptively yes, yes. hard. Deceptively hard. <laughs> I can't wait for Ray's uh, cereal into the night cereal. He he totally nailed that dialogue. What you? 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you hear me and Charlie Esser yet? I did. The professor in Quantum <laughs> Man. Oh my you god. Boys. Oh my god. Is he coming? Are you coming in the next one? Oh. Yeah. I cannot Episode wait. Episode 12. Oh, Ray. Ray, you have to have a, me and Charlie team up with Lilith. <laughs> All right. So, yes, check out In Today Night and Moon Night Podcast. Thank you for joining us. Come back next time for another patriotic issue. Amazing Spider-Man Annual 37. Is Captain America the Marvel Superman? Just no powers? He has powers. He yeah. just can't fly. Till then, swing on back. Blip, blip.